When you meet your friend and you want to greet them in Japanese, uh, you can say konnichiwa, and then you can also say hisashiburi. Hisashiburi means a uh, long time no see, but it's a very common greeting. It might not be that long since you last saw them. Hisashiburi is still a good way to greet someone. And then you could probably ask genki, which basically means how are you? And if somebody asks you, genki, uh, you might answer, hi, genki ya. Or, um, which is nice, it's very conversational, conversational, conversational. But um, sometimes that's a bit of a stop, and as language learners, we want to be taking any opportunity we can find to say a little bit extra. So, uh, one way you can do that is to be a little bit more specific, um, or give a little bit more, uh, rather than just um, give a greeting, of kinkyo, uh, be a little bit more specific, say something like, a little bit more communicative, like mama, mama. Or even, and this is a little bit colloquial, um, perhaps not the best phrase for your boss, uh, sayaku. Okay, sayaku just means terrible. And uh, probably if you've said, Mama, amari yokunai, sayaku. Uh, the person asking you will probably ask, doushita no? Which means, why? And you can then say something communicative like Atsui Or for recent winter weather in Okinawa Samui Or maybe you're a bit sleepy Nemui Or perhaps you're just a bit snowed under at work Isogashi Note that all these four are E adjectives uh, there are two types of adjective in Japanese, and one type is i. Atsui, samui, nemui, isogashii. It's a long i, so it's an i adjective. Uh, you might also say, Onakazuita, I'm hungry. Or onaka peko peko is another way of saying that. It's a little bit childish, but a little bit childlike, but quite funny. Uh, one thing we uh, we sometimes use for in class is, where's it gone? I'm nervous, perhaps because you're about to make a presentation. Sometimes useful in the language classroom where students do get a little nervous. And last one uh, is stress. Yeah, I'm stressed out. So in this way, when somebody asks you genki, you could just answer genki yo. Or you could uh, give a slightly more qualified answer. Mama. Amari okunai. Sayaku. And then you can use one of these phrases to give a little more detail, a little more information, and a little bit more communication about how you're actually feeling today. And that uh, gives you an extra opportunity to just say a little bit more. And really the key to learning a language is to say as much as you can uh, in, any, in every opportunity you get. All right, thanks. Kyo mo mitte kurosatte. Arigatou gozaimashita. Nihongo ganbatte ne.